สวัสดีครับ Hi Absolute and everybody in the world. My name is Justin. And guess what time it is? It's time for Bros Workout. Oh my God! So you know, crazy times. We most of us were all stuck at home, and we can't work out, and that is what we need to do most. Yeah, right. Yes, have lots of fun. Do any variations you need, and most importantly, make sure you work it out and make sure you're smiling the whole time. Okay, so during this time, you know, it's hard to get food. What did you have for breakfast? Strawberries. Strawberries? Okay. Protein. Strawberry protein. Yeah. And then what do you have for lunch? Brownie. Oh, pretty good. Protein, protein also. <laughs> and then for supper? Vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. Protein. Oh, yeah. Let's have some protein, bro. <laughs> protein shake. Bros work out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So time to get serious. This first part, it's me serving you all the workouts. We will have a few workouts. Basically, I want to cover all functional movement, squatting movement, single leg movement. Push movement, pull movement, and rotations. Okay, so we're gonna do three sets of every workout, and we're gonna get progressively more difficult. Each workout will go for one minute. It's not about speed. Let me emphasize: it is not about speed. I want you guys to focus on form. There is no point getting to work out now, getting an injury. So work hard, work smart, and let's feel great after. Okay, so RJ, are you ready to get started? So first movement we're gonna work with squats. Okay. So first movement for one minute, you're gonna set your feet hip width apart. Turn your toes out slightly out, just a little bit. Make sure they are even. You're gonna inhale, lower your butt down, and exhale, reach it up. But did you guys notice how big RJ is? He needs extra weight. So if you guys at home, if you have any extra weight, grab your water bottles, grab your cat, grab your dog, grab your grandma, and then just carry them with your hands. I thought we just. No, 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 you have your props now. So when you squat, you let it touch the floor, stand up, curl, and press it up. And then don't forget, you got to, it's called a protein shake, not a protein still, right? Yes, so with one minute to go, the time starts now. So when we work squats, we're really working a lot of major muscles here. It's a compound movement, we're working multiple, multiple joints, right? So firstly, we're working the glutes, the sexy butt, we're working the hamstrings, and if you see, when it goes down, arms down, bicep curl, shoulder press, and shaking it out. So if you guys remember, right, you don't want to take it too fast because it's a 30 minutes workout. You want to pace yourself, right? So right now, so far, 30 seconds. How are you guys feeling at home? Come a little bit closer. Come take a look at his forming form. Look, his feet are slightly turned out, about hip width, slightly wider than hip width apart. When he squats, his butt goes to the knee level. When he stands up, he stands up straight, arms over the shoulders as he shakes the protein out. So, oh my God, doesn't that look delicious? I can't wait for those protein shakes. Last 10 seconds, so about three more reps. Reach it up, shake it out. Down, up, shake. One last one, down, up, and shake. All right, RJ, so now 30 seconds rest. During your rest time, it is important for you to not keep thinking about water, think about breathing. Remember, to, in order for you to sustain the whole time, you have to control the breath. Full deep inhales, full exhales. Let's talk about the second movement. Second movement, we're going to do single leg lunges. So we're going to step one leg back. We're going to lunge and up. Lunge and up. 30 seconds each side. RJ, you ready? Let's go for it. Let's, why don't you face the side, actually, so everybody can see your nice legs. Okay, so let's start the time. Knee almost to the floor. Try to keep your heel above the torso as to engage your calves. As long as you push your heel forward, the calves engage. Also, extend the heel back so you feel the length of the calf muscle. The stretch here really, we're working on the hip flexors, the glutes. Make sure when you bend your knee, your knee goes above the toes, never beyond. Okay, we have five more seconds, so three more reps down. Down, and one more. Good job, RJ. Let's switch sides. How do you feel, bro? Bro. Bro, man, bro. Let's go. Squat it down. Stabilize your heel. So guys, in order, we also want to start. 
We also want to make sure that we are safe when we're doing all this movement. So you want to stabilize your ankles. Use the base of your big toe to push the heel forward. And if you want to refine your movement even more, roll the left inner thigh up towards the ceiling. So at the whole time, you're going to draw your belly in and get your core. We have about five more reps, RJ. Just down, five, four, three, two. Last one. Good job, bro. Let me put the weights down. So break, break our rest time, 30 seconds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You got this. So the next movement, we're going to go on the floor. We're going to hands go down, Spider-Man poses. You're going to step your foot forward and step it back to the outside of your hand. Step and step. No rush. Take your time. Pace yourself. All right, RJ, let's hit the ground. In a plank pose, make sure your spine is neutral. Draw your belly in, engage your core. And then once you're ready, let's start. The more we do, the more we start to refine our movement as well. So you want to step light and you want to keep your breath even. As long as you feel like your heart rate's increasing, you're going to take your breath even deeper, okay? Make sure your elbows do not lock, your elbows stay soft. There's micro bending the elbow joint. And when you breathe out, step it forward. How are you feeling, bro? Bro, bro, bro can't even talk right now, bro. But bro, 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 let's go, bro. <laughs> so when you sometimes need um, extra motivation, think about, think about the protein shake after. Yes. So we have about 20 seconds. You got this, man. How about I do it with you? Yes. Whoop. Whoop. Oh my God, how did this, how did the table flip like that? Thank you, I know, right? Cool. How many more? Three, two, one. Okay, everybody, one minute rest. Now, if you need to wipe your sweat, tie your hair, turn, play with your phone a little bit, make it fast, a little bit of water, and then focus on breathing. The best thing you can do, take child's pose, breathe. And after one minute, we're going to go through these three poses again, the three sets, remember? But we're going to do a, hard, a more advanced variation. But please, listen to your body. If the first set was already tough for you, just do the same thing over again. You don't have to do the hardest version to get the full effects. In fact, basic is better. Foundation first, all right? So, there's about 20 more seconds to rest. So, what are you going to do for the rest of this time? Other than kill me at Pilates later, Oh my God, he needs to breathe. It's a little bit warm in here. There are so many lights because it's also our first time being live on camera. It's really, it's really stressful actually, but we're just going to have fun. Okay. So guys, now we're going to start the second, second set of workouts. Remember first one is air squat, but now we're going to add a tiptoe variation to really work the calves. So same thing, feet hip width, toes out, squat down, add a tiptoe, heels down, and stand up. You can do with no weights or you can do with protein shake bottles. Let's start in three, two, go. Slow down, buddy. Remember, it's about slowing down and getting the form perfect. You want to lift your heel high so that you work your calves. When you sit low, you're working the glutes, tiptoe to work the calves, heel down, stand up. Whenever you feel like, oh my god, my wife now, ah, you have to go to the top of your head. Okay? So, one minute is not a very long time, but if you're doing a workout, sometimes it can feel like, oh my god, it's going on forever. Right? It's going on forever. So, what do you focus on? What I learned in yoga is when the pose gets tough, when the sequence gets tough, the focus goes inwards to your breath. If you focus on your breath, the time will go on anyway. It will, seem like, it will feel like it's going by faster. So don't give up guys, stay strong and keep going for it. Oh my guys, tiptoes are so high. Last five, three reps, down. Two more. Last one, yes! Oh my God, we're getting sweaty in here. So good. Did you guys see the magic towel? So anyway, that was the first one. Second set of the, second set of lunges, we're gonna add a kick. So remember this lunge. Lunge and kick. Lunge, hip flexors, calves, kick. Ready? 
We're starting in five, four, three, two, let's go. 30 seconds on each side. Hiya! So when we're adding the kick, it's also working on it's also working on balance. Balancing is important. It works the muscles a lot more, and it also works control. Sometimes the faster you go, the harder it is to control. When you slow down your movement, you have better control, you have better stability, and then you don't waste energy trying to rebalance. Two more reps. Stay strong, bro. Bro, bro, switch sides. You guys at home, I know that was tough because a lot of us have um, pretty tight hip flexors. A lot of us spend a lot of time sitting down at work, your hip flexors shorten. Or even cyclists, hip flexors are strong, it tightens. So for, in order for us to work the muscle, lunges, perfect workout. We only have eight more seconds. See, as I talk, time goes by so much quickly. Last five, four, three, two, Last one. All right, you guys. For them at home, give them a round of applause. So the next one, remember where Spider-Man walks, right? The next one, we're gonna jump into a squat. So with your hands shoulder width apart, try to go as light as you can. Not about speed, about form, about control. We're gonna start in 10 seconds time. Breathe deep breaths. How are you guys feeling at home? It's no normal to feel like, oh my God, it's so hard. It's normal to feel like, oh, I wanna give up, I'm at home. Nobody knows anyway. But remember, the harder you fight, the greater the sense of achievement after. Let's go, RJ. So as we, the second variation of the Spider-Man squats, we also wanna work on the flexibility of the hips, flexibility of the inner thighs. So, Wait, you want me to stand here? Yes! Okay. I didn't know what you were saying. You just sign language. It's hard. How is it doing, going, bro? It's happening. It's happening? Keep going, keep going. It has been 20 seconds. So especially if you guys are feeling tight in the inner thighs, you have to stretch your inner thighs. Inner thigh tightness, inner thigh tightness starts to make your lower back tighten as well. If your lower back tightens, it affects the rest of your spine. So you have to work the inner thighs. It may be tough. The tougher it is for you, it means the more you need it. So just because it's hard, doesn't mean you give up. Doesn't mean you give up. Doesn't mean you give up. If it's tough, it means you breathe through it. Yes. Just a little bit more, five more seconds. Let's go for two more reps. One more. Hey! Rest, rest, rest. Because you earned it. If you are not, if it is really hard for you, just step. You can remember, you can always do the easier version. Okay? So, we don't want to know what's the next one. What is the next one? The next one is the third set already. The third set squats. Bending your knee with the weight or no weight. Squat. And this time we jump. Don't kill yourself, slower is better, okay? So we still have 30 seconds to rest. Anything you wanna say? How do you feel? What do you feel working? It's hot in here, cause I'm here. <laughs> we catch. <laughs> so we have another 10 more seconds. If you guys are ready, get yourself ready. Get your feet hip width apart. Maybe stand facing the side so that people can see your nice butt. Boop. <laughs> All right, we're starting in three, two, one. Let's go. So jumping in this workout actually is a lot more cardiovascular than just doing air squats. Now that we're adding the jump, you're actually using your glutes to propel your body weight up. And body weight is relative, but this is a lot of weight here. This guy is packing a lot of muscles. So he's actually pushing a lot of weight up into the air. And if you can see, he's landing really lightly. You can barely hear a sound, he's landing on his toes. So always land lightly, so that to protect, so as to protect your ankles, your knees, and so as so that your workout looks good too. Stay strong, stay strong. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Who's tired? 
We have 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, time up. Good job. So this one, I'm going to give you guys a 30 seconds. Uh, you have a 30 seconds break. So breathe. I have been really bored at home and I'm so happy to have this opportunity to share a workout with you guys. So I hope you guys are having fun with this workout as well. Ready for the second one? Second workout we're gonna do is lunges, single leg movement. This time we're gonna bring your hands behind your head. Lunge, same, same, kick, and then knee to elbow. Kick. One side for 30 seconds, and then the other side for 30 seconds. Let's go. So it's the same movement, right? It's a hip flexor, calf, front glute, front hamstring. But now we're also adding a twist. We're adding a crunch. So it's abdominal, abdominal obliques. As you can see how he's doing this, it's slow, controlled. If he, is, if he were to be rushing it, it would be a lot harder to balance. So... And if you lose balance, it requires more time to rebalance yourself. Switch sides, RJ. Stay strong. Stay strong. Never give up. Strong body, strong immune system. You're going to fight this virus and we will win. It is good for this balancing movement is also really great for stability. And we want stability because as Brittany always asks, you want a hot body, look hot and bikini, you better work. Boop. Can't say that word on life. <laughs> Last one. Oh, you're done? It's done. We've done all three workouts in three sets already. Now you have a one more. There's one more. Oh my God. Look, I'm so nervous. I forgot. One more is a Spider-Man jump switch. So now, Spider-Man, boop, jump switch. You can go fast, but slower. Pace yourself. We're starting in five, four, three, two, action. Cardiovascular work works your heart, burns a lot of calories, so a lot of sitting at home, a lot of Netflix time, a lot of potato chips, a lot of cookies. I'm not judging you guys, I'm just telling you what I do. <laughs> so then you need the cardio to burn up all the extra calories as well. Stay strong, bro. He's dripping sweat. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but he me too. I'm just talking and I'm dripping sweat. There's 30 seconds more. 30, 30. Let's go. Let's go. It's actually really fun, I think, to kill him. Oh my God. Son of Mark. <laughs> so we have 20 more seconds. It's okay if you feel like you need a break. Take a quick break, but don't just stop. We stop because we're done, not because we're tired. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Come on. Hup. Three, two, one. Woo! That's three exercises, three sets. That's nine uh, workouts that you did already. Have a one minute break. Have some water. Not too much. If you have too much water, you feel like you want to throw up. Just a little bit of water. Wipe your face. Retie your hair. And then we'll go to the second part of this live stream cast. How do you feel, Andre? My heart rate is very fast. How fast? Because I'm here? <laughs> because you're nervous for going live? Or, or it's a tough workout. It's, it's a full body workout. How does your butt feel? Show me. I'm just kidding. Oh my God, he really showed me. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to do the next three workouts. We're going um, to do um, now pushing pulling and rotation. Okay, so we start with push-ups. We'll do wide push-ups, your hand wider than shoulder width. You already know how to do a push-up, right? Hand wider than shoulder width, feet together or feet hip width, bring your chest down and press it up. Variation, knees down. But knees down, do not collapse your back. Keep your back neutral, press it up. Let's go. Yeah, just so that you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? So come over here, come over here, come over here. Come over here. Very important is the back here. We want to protect the lower back. Do not ever ever sink into the lower back. Draw your ribs in to keep your lower back broad, lower back neutral. What are we working here? Guns, biceps. Biceps and pectoralis 
hips is major, pectoral is major. We're working the chest and biceps. And of course, we're also working on the core. Most of, most of the workouts we have today, they all work the core because you have to stabilize your body. So we have, how much time do we have left? We have about 30 seconds, bro. It seems like forever, man. Okay, I'm gonna place this Ooh. motivation here. And then you just bring your chest to touch the bottle. Oop, lucky bottle. <laughs> so you can slow down, don't need to go so fast. Rather than thinking about speed, feel the squeeze of the packs when you push up. Yes, time, good. So that was push movement. The next one, we're gonna have pull movement. We have Superman. Oh my God, we have Spider-Man earlier, we have Superman now, and then we have the incredible Hulk over here. This is Marvel DC together, man. <laughs> so, okay, so we're gonna do Superman, lie down your belly. Lie down your abs, I should say. Reach your arms forward, bring your feet hip width. Okay, you're gonna inhale here, and then you're gonna exhale, lift your arms, lift your head, lift your legs. Inhale lower and exhale lift. Okay, we're working out all the muscles in the back. We're strengthening the lower back muscles. Hey, keep going, keep going. <laughs> yeah, so these are all pulling movements. We're just lifting. It's a very small movement, but if you lift and you hold, you isometrically contract the muscles, you can actually feel the effects of it really fast. It is very good for your posture as well. A lot of us um, end up having rounded shoulders because we're driving we're typing or we're texting. And this pose helps you broaden your chest, giving you more, a larger cavity for your lungs so you're actually able to take deeper breaths. It's about 40 seconds now. So about six more deep breaths. Slow down, the slower you go, the less reps you have to do, the more you can work your muscles evenly and more effectively as well. Three more reps, lift. Two more, lift, hold it. Last one, lift, hold, 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 hold. Can you pulse it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, press. That was a surprise killer. Life. <laughs> Applause. Life is full of surprises, right? You gotta take it as it comes. You gotta say no. Right. So the next one, you know what's the next one? Mountain climbers. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mountain climbers is also cardiovascular. You're gonna stabilize your core, you're gonna bring your knees in. So it's here, and we're gonna move. Slow. Faster. Take your time, one minute. So, feeling exhausted? Take it slow. Keep your breath deep. Deep inhale through your nose. Exit through your nose as well, or exit through your lips, that's fine. But you gotta keep it even, you gotta keep it deep. That's 15 seconds in. Try to, you wanna keep your shoulders above the wrist. Slight softness in the upper back. And then when you bring your knees in, you're working your abdominals. This is all ab work. You can also alternatively go on your forearms. Especially if you have wrist pain. But of course, if you have forearms, it's better to have a towel. Without a towel, it might be slippery, then it might be easier to go on your hands. Stay strong, stay strong. That's 10 more seconds, let's go, let's go. I'll do it with you, come on. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yes, there you go. teamwork. Woo. So that was three. We have about, we're gonna do one more round. We're gonna do just one more round because we're running out of time a little bit. Uh, we're just gonna do one more set of all of that. Okay, so we'll do one more push, one more pull, and we'll do a rotation workout. Okay, last three. Are you ready for the last three? And then it's your turn to take over. I'm nervous now. Okay, so now we're gonna have the, we're gonna go back and pushing. So instead of a white hand push up, we're gonna do diamond push up. Okay, so your hands are in a diamond. Oh my God, shine bright like a diamond. And then lead with your chest down and press it up. Same variation. If you need to take it a little bit easier, put your knees down. It is better to put your knees down and keep your lower back strong rather than doing the full version and collapsing into the lower back. The difference between a white hand push-up and a diamond push-up is this one focuses also the chest, but the different focus here is also your triceps, right? 
Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. I got validation. Ah. Triceps is a workout that is um, pretty tough for a lot of people. But all you ladies at home, you know, a lot of you guys, a lot of my clients want to work out this muscle. That's the triceps. You all right? Yeah. Let's go then. Bro, 20 seconds left. So take your time, do six more. Okay, you're doing so fast. Let's do 12. Yeah, slow down. Slower is better. All right. You at home? Two more. Two more. One more. One more. Yes! So now we have only one last workout. Okay? Mountain climbers with a twist. So you're going to try to bring your knee to the opposite elbow this time. It's the last one. It's the last one. It's the last one. Did you hear? It's the last one. We're starting in five, four, three, two, let's go. Taking it slow, slower, slower. So as you already, as I already mentioned earlier, in your mountain climbers, we're working the abdominals and it's also cardiovascular work. It brings your heart rate up. But now adding the twist, you're working your lower obliques as well. Your hands for safety, spread your fingers wide. Claw with the fingertips. Elbows are soft. Do not lock your elbows. Rotate the forearms in. We have the last 30, 25 seconds. Last 25, last 25. Come on, come on. After this, we are done, 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 done. You have the end to look forward to. I always say this in my cycling class. You can already see the finishing line. Don't give up when you can see the finishing line. Go for it. Five, four, Three, two, and... Even for all you guys at home, such a great job. It was really nice to be able to teach you guys. To show you guys a workout, let's stretch out a little bit. Don't you come closer, stand beside me. Gonna lift your right knee up, interlace your fingers, put your knees to your chest. Stand tall. And then use your left hand, hold the foot and bring it up over your head. No. No. Or just pull up to the chest. <laughs> I hope you guys laughed at home. I don't, we can't get a reaction from a camera, so we don't really know what's going on. Switch sides. Stand up tall, shoulders back. You got to pull your knee up and then pull your knee in. Deepen, deepen your breath. Three, two, all right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bro, ah. I want to drink a little bit so later when we do Pilates, it's not as heavy anymore. So guys, um, hang on. Thank you for your time. Thank you for spending your time with us. Come closer, come closer. They want to see you too. But right now, he's going to rest and I'm going to prepare myself. Join us for Pilates, Matt Pilates, in 15 minutes. Okay? Thank you.
And yeah. we're back! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so, it's my turn. It's gonna be payback time. I'm gonna be uh, doing Matt Pilates workout, uh, athletic conditioning. Doing some uh, movements that we normally do on the Pilates reformer group. I'm with my partner, Justin. Hi, everyone. Yeah, hey, and okay. yes. And uh, same thing, guys, as what we did earlier. We're still using the bro bottle, all right? Bro bottle. All right, so let's grab your bro bottle, bro. All right, it's going to be a Matt Pilates circuit workout. I'm going to do two rounds, eight to nine exercises, all right? Working the whole body, right? So we're going to be standing nice and tall on the mat. Yeah, legs hip width apart. Yes. Look straight, arms by the side, it's your straight forward. Just reach your hands forward. Lower the arms down, inhale. Exhale, reach. Nice. Standing nice and tall, using your shoulders, reach your hands forward, exhale. Very good, there you go. Nicely done. Good job. As we turn on the side here, he's raising his arms up 90 degrees, looking straight with a spine neutral position, all right? There you go. So one more time. Very nice. I will come back to the starting position. This time, let's add some squat. Push the hip back, bend the knees, and reach. So we turn slowly. Inhale. Exhale. Sit back, bend the knees. You got it. If we're going to spend too much sitting time on this uh, lockdown, for the meantime, this is a great exercise for you to increase the blood flow on your lower body, right? Nice. Just keep looking straight. Sit back. Yeah. There you go. Good. Keep breathing. Come back upright position. One more. Now let's come back, upright position. So we're gonna turn around again. So facing this way. So this time, let's do your upper ring. So you're gonna reach your hands forward. Yes, lower the arms by the side. So reach, open the arms out wide. Come back center, and you lower the arms down. So with the breath, exhale, reach. Inhale, open. Exhale, center. Inhale and return. You got it, there you go. So you're reaching it forward. Open the arms out. You can virtually use everything, anything at home. You can use water bottle, anything with weights, or just use your body weight, all right? Open, center, and let's come back. This time, let's turn to the side. Yeah, so facing this way, so palms facing back. So right leg first, lunge, reach it forward. Open the arms out to the side. Come back, center, and you return upright position. Tanding nice and tall, so reach, open. Come back, center, draw the elbows in. Yeah, so reach, out. Center and return. Good. There you go. So reach. Open the arms up. Come back. And return. Let's put some variation. So you reach and hold here. Now don't move the left hand. Give me a rotation to the right. Come back. Center. And return. How are you doing, bro? Good. Yeah. Good, so step forward. So rotation. Let's work that core. Come back. Center. And you return. Very good. Same as what we did earlier. We're doing the lunge. But this time with some uh, challenge on your balance. All right? And you come back. So one more time. So we step back. It is, man. <laughs> so rotate. Come back, center. How about the other side? Go. So step the left leg back. Open the arms. Ah, uh, both arms first. Yes. Come back, center. Draw the elbows in. Yes. Exhale, reach. Open. Center. And draw the elbows in. You got it. So you go step back. Open the arms out. Center. Nice. There you go, guys. When you do the lunge, make sure that your body is standing nice and tall all throughout the exercise. Okay, so you have a good posture, right? Now let's add the twist. So reach, left arm back, center, and you return. You got it. There you go. So step back, rotation, center, and you return. So we know how Matt Pilates or the former workout go, right? So I like to make it a flow. So we're continuously moving all throughout the exercise, okay? So move, step back. Yeah, there you go. Reach, come back, center, and return slowly. So one more time, go. So reach, bend the knees. Twist, come back, center, and return the control. All right, since I work you on the squat, the lunge, let's go to the sides, all right? So we're gonna be facing to the front. All right, reach your hands overhead here. Nice. <laughs> She's still shaking the bottle, all right? So you have to draw your abs in, body straight, shoulders away from the ears. When you exhale, reach your arms out to the side. So I really want you to feel that separation on your shoulder blades, all right? Yeah, you got it. So reach up to the ceiling. Join it in, man. Yes. The legs together, hip width apart, it's your choice, all right? Exhale. So reach it out to the side. You got it. Very good. So inhale. There you go. Reach it out. 
Good job. There you go. So one more time. You're gonna reach out. Let's add some movements here. So from here, you're gonna step the right leg out to the side, bend the knee, reach. So come back. Same side. Go. Correct. So you're gonna bend one knee, the other leg straight. Shift the weight to that right leg, all right? Then exhale, of course. The benefits of your breath, guys. Huh? Don't forget to breathe, okay? Last two. You know me, I like to flow. I'll add another movement after this. You got it. Let's come back to that upright position. So reach out, step, up and over, fold. He left me behind, so come back, center, and you return. Same side, buddy. Go. Good job. Side bend, center, and you come back. So when we stay home, right, sit down, watch TV and everything. So this is a good exercise and movement, of course, with a the shake. <laughs> there you go. So step out to the side, reach out to get you moving, all right? Good. So come back. There you go. One more time. Step to the side. Reach. Upright position. How about the opposite side? Let's flow. Go. Reach. So come back. Bend the knees. Yeah, then come back. Good. So reach. Nice. You got it. There you go. So same thing. Shift the weight to the supporting to the bend knee. Other leg straight. Separate the shoulder blades from each other. Reach out. You got it. There you go. Stay strong, everyone. Nice. Exhale. Last two. Good. Slow control movement. Have more benefits on the body. So one more time. There you go, buddy. Step down. Not yet. Hey, up, up, up. Reach up. It's payback time. So step, go. Reach. Come back. Yeah, up and over. So come back. And you return. There you go. So when you shake the bottle like that, it creates vibration. So it challenges your muscle, all right? Yes, yes, it is. It's more harder with that shaking. It's a vibration workout. Yes, now come back and return. Last two, go reach. Step outside, bend. Come back, upright position. And you return. One more. Good. Come back, upright. And return the control. You got it. Put that yeah. bottle down. So there you have it. So I have uh, three different movements. I'll do some recovery exercise on the mat. So Justin, lie down on your back. Facing up to the ceiling. So your muscle can recover. And at the same time, you have a time to catch your breath. Okay, so put your hands behind the head. Bend the knee. Correct. Put your feet flat on the floor. Your heels align with your sit bone. Right? Legs hip in the park. When you exhale, you pick up the head. Contract your abs and you curl. Nice. So go back to the mat. Return to neutral. Inhale. Exhale. Curl. Good. So return slowly. So without pulling the neck. Okay. So we're going to keep your lowest ribs on the mat all throughout the exercise. So return. Let's put some add on curl. Right leg tabletop. Go. No, not twisting. One. So come back. Put the feet down. Exhale. Go. Two. So lean back. Put the feet down. Exhale. Curl. Nice. Now without pulling the neck. So one more. You got it. Now you come back. How about the other side? Go. Curl. That's one. Without pulling the neck. Focus on the core. Breathe out. Two. So return slowly. Inhale. Exhale. Curl. Three. Nice. There you go. Inhale. Return. Contract your core. Four. Nice. One more. I'm going to float the movement. You're going to lean back. Put the feet down. Legs together. Curl up. Both legs tabletop. Go. One. Return. Inhale. Put the feet down. Exhale. Curl. Two. So you're initially working on the upper abs and the lower abs at the same time here. So last two, I'm gonna flow again. Exhale, curl. You got it, one more. Lean back, put the feet down. Exhale, curl, you're gonna hold the stay here. Kick the right leg forward. Nice, don't move the opposite leg. Twist to the opposite side to your bicycle. Inhale, exhale, switch. One, exhale, beat up, bro. Two, exhale, three, he's holding his breath. Four, exhale, five, payback time. Seven, <laughs> exhale, eight. Exhale, nine. Come back, center. Don't move. Curl up. Stay here. Lift the legs up. We got this. Right leg down to the mat. Yeah, both hands behind the leg. Pull the legs to the body. Curl. Now, pick up the neck. Don't go too high, brother. Yeah, so keep the lowest ribs off the mat. Exhale, switch. Go. One. You got it. Exhale. Two. Pull it in. Three. Exhale. Four. Five. We got this. Six. Seven. Exhale. Eight. Nine. One more. There you go. Tabletop position. Hands behind the head. Support the neck. Reach the right arm to the side. Right arm. Yeah. Eyes on the knee. Legs together. Abs flat. 
This is good for the endurance of your core muscle. It's your hundreds. Pump. In, two, three, four, exhale. Shh, shh, shh. Ten. In, two, three, four, X. Eyes on the knee, buddy. In, two, three, four, X. Forty. In, two, three, four, X. Switch the arm. Switch. In, two, three, four, X. In, two. Don't make me laugh, man. Exhale. Shh, shh. You look like a popper fish, bro. <laughs> 80 in, 2, 3, 4, X. 9 in, 3, 4, X. Both arms by the side. Curl up. And return in control. Hi, Ben. Yeah. All right. I give my friend a break here. So let's go for extension to stretch the core. Okay. So lie down on your belly, pacing down the floor, buddy. All right. I'm going to put his arm, arms closer to his body. Okay. Yeah, palms facing down to the floor. So your, your shoulders, guys, away from the ears. Don't let your head touch the mat, all right? Keep the neck aligned with the spine, okay? All right, keep the legs straight. Let's keep the legs closed as much as we can. All right, when you inhale, you're gonna lift from the upper middle back lift. Now try, try to, let's modify, guys. Huh? So put your hands on the mat. Try to push with the arms, lift from the upper middle back. Yeah, so if you notice here, he tried to retract his shoulder. Just allow that to happen a bit here. Look down to the floor, lengthen the back of the neck. Squeeze the glutes, guys. Eh? Tighten the core, right? So feel that stretch on the front of the body, okay? And exhale, return. You got it. So one more. Inhale, lift. So after those grueling core exercise, this is a good uh, chance for, for you at home to recover, right? And return. You got it. One more time, bro. Inhale, lift. Shoulders away from the ears, look down to the mat. Exhale and return in control. All right, so this time, I'm going to put his hands on the forehead. So hands on the forehead. Correct. So you're going to keep the forearm down to the floor. Same thing, shoulders away from the ears. Equally long waistline. Lift both legs up on the mat. And give me some swimming here. Go. Exhale. <laughs> legs straight, man. So exhale, up and down. Breathe, bro. Breathe, breathe. Exhale. Yeah, there you go. Good, so make sure that you engage your core so you don't let the, the hips move side to side, all right? Yeah, very good. You got this. Exhale. Last 10. Lift both legs up at the same time and return the control. All right, very good. Let's put you to a kneeling position. So I'll flow, guys. Eh? All right, so from this kneeling position here, you're going to reach your hands up to the ceiling. Yeah, good. So shoulders away from the ears. Now don't let the ribs pop. You're going to slightly lean forward, bend the knees on the hip. Point the feet there. Point the feet. Yeah, so sit back, bend the knees on the hip, palms facing down. So this is an inclined neutral position. So you're gonna lean more forward. Yeah, so guys at home, if this position is very hard for you, right? You can always modify the angle, okay, for your comfort, all right? So my body here is strong. So you lean more forward for me. Lean more, man. <laughs> Yo, okay, so hold it, stay here. Don't collapse. They're watching us, bro, so hold it. Now, swimming on the arms. Go. You got it. Good. So, this uh, exercise is a really good uh, challenge for the stability of your core muscles. All right? Good. Don't forget to read. It's exhale, buddy. You got it. So, reach your hands away from the body. Keep the spine neutral position. Lean more forward. Yes. From the arms. Very nice. Stay strong, everyone. Almost there. Four. Exhale. Three. Almost there. Two. Come on, guys. We can do it. Hold it. And return. Woo! There you go. So, thank you. <laughs> so hot in here, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel so nervous. This is our first time to live stream, guys. All right. So, since I work you in different places, so the thing that I miss is the side, right? So, I'm going to work you on the side lying position. So, Justin, we're going to be pacing to the front body. You're going to reach your... You're going to be on the kneeling position. You're going to reach your left hand on the mat. You're going to tilt your body down to the floor. Yeah, all right? And you're going to shift the weight to the left leg. So you're going to put the weight here. All right, so the hands, put it behind the head. Yeah, so you can see my body here. You're going to lift the top leg up. So equally long on each waistline. Draw the ribs in, look straight. So flex the ankle. Lower the legs down, inhale. Exhale, lift. It's your side leg lift series. So lower the legs down. Exhale. Good. Now guys, don't hold the breath, okay? So we know how important it is 
to use the breath, especially when we do our Pilates exercises, right? Yeah, I cannot see you, but you can see me, so I will keep reminding you to breathe, all right? Exhale. Last one. So I'm going to hold and stay here, everybody, all right? So don't move. So from here, I'll give you a hip flexion. So keep the legs forward. So pull it back. Point the feet. Point the feet. Plantar flex. Exhale, kick. All right. So the moment you guys, you kick your legs forward, you don't let the hips roll forward and back. So you keep this on a neutral position, okay? You got it, buddy. So push it back. Exhale, kick forward. One more time, guys, all right? Exhale. You're going to come back to that center, point your feet away from the body. Let's challenge your smaller muscle. Rotation. One, show me the breath. Two, three, exhale. Four, give me the circle. Five, exhale. Six, seven, pay back time. Eight, so hold and stay here. And you reverse. One, exhale. Two, three, breathe out. Four, five. Look at this, guys. Life is full of surprises. You're going to stay here, flex the ankle, and you pulse. One, exhale, two, three, feet out, four, exhale, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, stay still, and return. Woo! How are you guys? My bro here is still alive. Okay, we're going to relax. Let's recover. Oh, yeah, good job, buddy. It's all the glutes. So you're going to be on the side position. So lie down on your arms. Facing the same body. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to work the inner thighs on the other leg. Okay. So look at this. I'm going to bend the top leg here. Top hand in front of the mat. Yes. And just look straight. Correct. Just use your inner thigh muscles to lift the legs up. Yes. The bottom leg. You can do this anytime, anywhere. While not watching Netflix. Korean series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it look gonna be weird when you do it in the MRT, bro. <laughs> Don't give our viewers an idea, man. <laughs> exhale. Last four. One. He's crazy, right? Two. Exhale. Three. One more. Hold. And return. Good job, everyone. All right. Other side, buddy. Switch. Yeah. So earlier on the FIT workout you just did, it's all about... Uh, Endurance and strength. Now we're focusing on lengthening and core uh, stability and strength. Okay, so hands behind the head. So same thing. So draw the abs in. Long line. So lift legs up. Okay, guys. I want to see you on this position. All right. Yeah. So flex the ankle. Lower the legs down. Exhale. Lift one. Using your outer thigh muscles. Yeah. Good. So guys, breathe. Okay. So all throughout the exercise. Okay. You got it. There you go. So remember our breath, right? Yes, there you go. Yes. Nicely done. So use the glutes. So one more time. So know your transition. So hold it here. Point your feet. Kick the legs forward. Flex the ankle. Pull it back. Point the toes. Point the feet. One. Kick the legs forward. Correct. We got to squeeze the glutes. Two. If you're going to go at the back, you're going to see how his glutes is really firing a lot. To maintain his position. Yes, it's there you go. Hard, <laughs> Kick it forward. So pull it back. And it's really hot on this room. So our body temperature is really high. So last one. So kick. Oh my god. There you go. So we gotta hold and stay here. Woo! The butt is firing. Good job, buddy. Point the feet up. Circle up. One. Beat up. Two. Exhale. Strong arms. Strong core. Four. Soften the elbow. Five. Exhale, six, seven, eight. You're gonna stop there and you will reverse. One, two, three, three. Exhale, four, five. There you go. Six, seven. Life is full of surprises. Hold here and you pulse. One, two, good. Three, beat guys. Four, count it loud. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it, hold it. Relax, buddy. Hold it. And return. Woo! Woo! Glutes on fire! Yeah. <laughs> Let's relax. Let's do some recovery exercise, all right? Yes, it is, buddy. Yeah. Good. So, Pilates, uh, we try to combine strengthening, stretch, mobility, and recovery exercise, all right? So, this is your recovery exercise for this one. Lift the bottom leg up. Exhale. Correct. Not too fast. 
Good, there you go. So your abs still firing, so your hips will stay square and upright all the time, alright? You got just relax, bro. Picture. Yes. <laughs> Someone take us picture here? Picture. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, there. There, 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 there. There's a camera there, man. Loads of camera. Yes, all right. There you go. <laughs> Last two, bro. One, one more. Hold it. And you're good. All right. Give me a child pose or self stretch, buddy. All right. So, guys, uh, any viewers at home, if you got the combination and flow, you can do as many reps, many sets as possible, but make sure that you control the movement and exercise. All right. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So on the next uh, exercises, I'll make it a bit more challenging for my body here, okay? So we're gonna be, we're gonna be on the push-up position. Yeah, push-up position. So yeah, arms and legs straight. So it's a push-up combination with a leg pulling front, okay? So you're gonna lift the right leg up, bend the arms. So when you reach the bottom position here, shift the weight forward, back, come up to starting position, lower the legs down. We got it, right? So one more. Same side, bro. <laughs> nice. Ship it forward, back, and you return. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Back, forward, and return. Okay, guys, I'll stop here. So if you find it really hard to do that exercise, same as modification as I, we did on the feet workout earlier, we can put the knees down. Okay, on the next feet, I'll do a modification with Justin here. So put the knees down. Yeah. So leg straight. Yeah. So bend. Shift the weight back. This is more easier. And you come back, lower the legs. All right? Yeah, so one more. So kick back. Bend. Shift the weight forward. Shift the weight back. And return. So one more. So kick back. Lower the body. Forward. Back. And return. All right? So you can choose the option that the works the best for you guys. All right? Opposite side row. So this time, let's do the pull version first. Bend the elbows. Shift the weight forward. Shift the weight back. Put the feet down. Come back. Go. Good breathe, guys. Huh? Nice. <laughs> He's not breathing. So lower. <laughs> Exhale. Come back. And you return. Nice. One more, bro. No, not yet. Not yet. One more. Down. Shift it forward. Back. Modification time, guys. Go. Knees down. Now bend the arms. Kick. Shift the weight forward. Shift back. And return. So if you feel some shifting on the hips here, just move slow, okay? Bend the arms. And this is a really hard uh, angle or position to do push up. So you can go put your arms wider if you like, all right? So one more. Go. Good. And return. All right, good job. I'm going to go to that uh, side side position. So pacing to the front again. Mm -hmm. Almost there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> put your left hand on the mat. Yeah. So you're going to put the top leg forward, bottom leg back. Yeah, guys, so like this. So this is my position here. Yeah, all right. So it's a clamp position, all right? So from this position here, you're going to reach the right hand on the top of the knee. Correct. So lift the hip up. So we call this as a squat position. So you're going to shift the weight back. Shift the weight up. Leg straight and reach up and over. Nice. And you're going to lift the hip up to the ceiling here. To a side bend, okay? So lower the arms. Squat. Bend the knee. Inhale. Come up. Up and over. To the side. That's two. So come back. Yes. Exhale. Reach the hip up to the ceiling. Go. Correct. So we want to work the obliques. Squat. Push away. Reach up and over. Good. Last two. Squat. Come up. Upright position. Lift the hip. So one more time. Squat. There you go. Side bend position. Reach over. And return. There you go, guys. Good job, everyone. Good. Woo. See, make it look effortless. But... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it is hard. Okay, so switch to the other side, guys. All right. Yes, correct. Squat, shift the weight up and over. Lift the hip to the ceiling. So bend the knee. Squat. Nice. Shift the weight forward. Come up. Two. Good. So down. Clamp position. Touch the hip to the ground. Exhale up and over. You got it. Down. Exhale. Good. There you go. Whoops. Careful, guys. Down. Squat. Reach up and over. Push the hip up. So last two. Down. Lower the hips. Lower the arms. Reach up and over. One more. One more for the picture, bro. Down. Exhale. Push the hip up. Up and over. Woo! Elegant. 
Hold it. Oh, oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold. Push it up higher. And you return. Woo. <laughs> there you go, guys. All right. Yes, it is. There you go. So on that uh, mat, Pilates athletic conditioning exercise is all about length and control. All right. So we're going to be on the... I'm going to finish you at the seated position. So you're going to be seated here. Hands on top of the knee, body straight. When you exhale, you're going to nod the chin round the shoulder and flex the body forward. So flex. Breathe, guys. Eh? So it's important to control with your breath. Okay? Now come back, upright position. Inhale. Exhale. So all of those hard work that we did on the fit section. Now we're going to go down to the mat, athletic conditioning exercise. We need to cool down as well for your safety. Okay? So one more. Exhale, fold. You got it. Now you're going to pull yourself up to an upright position. So stay here. When you exhale, you're going to twist to the right. Put the left hand on the outside of the knee. And give me that nice rotation. So open the chest. Keep the body straight. Nice. There you go. Guys, listen. If you cannot sit on this position, it could cause you too much discomfort. You can sit down on a cushion anytime, all right? So come back. Upright position again. Come back center. <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> there you go, opposite side. So seated, nice and tall, body straight, okay? You got it. Now come back center. So look to the front. Float your right hand up to the ceiling. Exhale, up and over, fold towards the left side. Come back center. How about the other side? Go. Reach. Exhale, fold. Nice. Come back to the center. Good. So reach your hands forward. Let's uh, release the wrist and open the chest. Extend your wrist. So extend. Yeah. Open the chest. Lift the chest up. Inhale. So here, guys. So lift. Send the heart to the ceiling. When you exhale, nod the chin. Round the back. Scoop your abs. So it's like hugging a big beach volleyball here. So inhale. So from those people who work from home, you do a lot of uh, work in the computer lately. So this is a good uh, exercise to open you up. Most of the people who attend me in the group, they like the stretch. So last two. So open the chest. Lift the chest up. Inhale. Send the heart to the ceiling. Exhale. Nod the chin. Round the back. Scoop. So deep in the scoop on the abs. So one more. Inhale. Open the heart to the ceiling. With a shake. <laughs> and return. All right, guys. That wraps up our athletic mat, athletic exercise for this live streaming today. So for tomorrow, it's a, yeah, we're going to be back uh, Monday for personal trainers live stream. We, we do? Tomorrow we have um, PT, two people, PT, RT. Monday, oh, bro. Sorry, Monday. <laughs> Monday, man. Sorry, guys. <laughs> rewind. Yeah. The rewind the beat. So we, we both hope you had fun today. We don't know about you guys. We, we really hope you did. But well, I had a good time. Yeah, me too, man. Worked out. Yes. So what we want to tell you is like, don't, don't forget on Monday. We are live streaming again at 6. What time? What time, Julie? Think 6. 6 o'clock. 6 p.m. Join two PTs, personal trainers, RT and Vic, and they will show you a good time as well. We will have more classes. We have classes online all weekend. All right. And yeah. one thing, guys, uh, stay positive. Uh, take a time to rest. Yeah, of course. Wash your hands. And... Uh, yeah. This is um, tough times for all of us, but it's also a good opportunity for us to reset, regroup, mm -hmm. and also reassess on what are the things that are really necessary for us and what are, what are the priorities for our life. And so use this time to self-love, self-care. It is. And anything that uh, absolute you, uh, the instructors, the stuff that we can do to help, we're going to bring it back to you guys, all right? Sure. Just drop us a message, slide into our DMs, and we'll reply. But this is absolute you, bringing you live streaming. We hope we wish you a very good evening and we will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>